dedication can take you so much, much further, you know, than what you're given. Yeah. 100%. And like a perfect example is uh, Christian Petrarca, who for those of you who are listening, who are not um, Australian, he's like consistently in the top three AFL footballers going around for the last three years. And the reason he is consistently in the top three AFL footballers in the last three years is because three to four years ago, he made a decision to devote every ounce of his being to becoming the best footballer he could possibly be. Now, when he was getting drafted, he was touted as the most gifted footballer around natural talent, an incredibly powerful human being. But for the first few years of his career, some would say that he didn't dedicate to the craft as much as he could have. And he had these flashes of brilliance in, in a season, but it was not enough for that consistency. So that, that natural talent just, I think it gets shown time and time again. It does not get you to places that if you're competing against people that, like you said before, that sacrifice their social life, that sacrifice everything else in their life to be able to become the best specialist that they can possibly be, um, you, you need to have that natural talent and then you need to complement it with this relentless dedication. 